Okay, hey everybody, welcome to another episode of On The Rest From Off The Cuff. Today we have a cool follow-up for you and a bit of a mod reveal. Um, this is of course my Seiko SNE497, known as a Prospects Solar Tuna, or the Tuna Lite. Um, and this is basically my mods that made this, you know, kind of the, the most tuna-y tuna that it can be. <laughs> so. Uh, what you can tell pretty easily just from this angle is that I swapped out the resin shroud with a stainless steel shroud from Yoboki's and uh, for the bracelet I swapped it out with an end mill um, bracelet from strap code and then underneath what you'll notice when I pick this up and get it in hand and handle it a bit you'll notice that I actually got another um, Marine Master 300 ratcheting clasp. So this is going to definitely feel even more now kind of like uh, in that same vein of the S, um, gosh, uh, the SBBN 015 tuna, which this definitely bears a uh, very striking resemblance to. Uh, so with that said, uh, let's go ahead and get this piece in All here. Alrighty. Now, I'm not going to get into the same details like I did in my initial review. This is going to be more focused on kind of uh, the state of this watch as a whole um, with all of the modifications that were done. Um, I'll definitely leave more details in the video description uh, below. Um, but essentially, this thing is kind of my perfect poor man's tuna now. Um, and I almost hate to use that analogy of being kind of the poor man's tuna, but it is, let's face it. Um, the nice thing though that I think it has over the tuna, of course, is that it's solar powered and I never have to worry about swapping this battery out, which is definitely really nice. Another nice feature that you might not be able to tell just from looking at it is the shroud is actually just a touch smaller. So it does make the profile a little bit smaller as well. I think with, uh, the, the other one was just almost uh, 47, just under, it was like 46.7. With this now, it's like 45 point something. So probably less than 45 and a half. So it does shave it down a little bit, um, which is nice because of course now with the silver color, it actually um, makes the profile, as far as your visual weight, it's gonna appear a little bit bigger because it's not black and it's, you know, obviously black is gonna make it seem a little bit smaller. Um, here you're gonna have metal with the contours and the finishing. It's just gonna make the eye see this as a little bit of a larger watch. Um, and then you have obviously this wonderful end mill um, bracelet, uh, which tapers down from 22 with a straight end link down to 18, which works perfectly with this Marine Master clasp. Um, so as you guys will be able to see here, I can push that, bam, it's gonna ratchet, put it down, open it up, really nice. You can just do this. So really cool, and the nice thing is you do have nice micro adjustments there to really get this dialed in to feel like it uh, is the right length for you. Um, so really loving that, and everything is just super cohesive. The bezel here is really, really nicely finished. I've definitely handled some aftermarket tuna style bezels. I'm um, not bezels, but um, shrouds that weren't this good. Um, so hats off to Harold, really nicely done. Um, so with that said, let's go ahead and also get this piece um, on wrist so you guys can take a closer look. All right, as you can see on my seven and a quarter inch wrist, this thing was gorgeous. Um, you do have that great end mill bracelet, which has just enough heft to kind of flow with the overall tuna can aesthetic, but it has the nice kind of rounded contours and whatnot without being too round. As you can see, it's more of an oval uh, shape there from the side contour. It's not gonna be like a president style bracelet. It does have a, bit, a little bit more, I guess, of a stretched oval there versus like a cut circle. Um, and I think it really blends well with the general aesthetics here, of course, with the big round case and whatnot, almost near lugless design. And then it goes into this beautiful Seiko ratcheting clasp, which just makes it feel a lot more substantial and really, really great. So, I mean, I love the way this thing wears um, and I love the way it looks. Of course, it's a bit thinner, 
too because it is a quartz movement versus if I was to go for you know some crazy spring drive model which would definitely be one larger in diameter two thicker and taller and whatnot um, and then of course way more expensive so this bad boy comes in really nice and then the nice thing is I actually already had this bracelet laying around and the clasp for a mod so I really didn't even pay that much more I basically just paid for the shroud and I had the other pieces already on hand so really nice um, as far as the affordability goes let's go ahead and get some light transition on oh, this okay one. let's go ahead and hit the lights as you can see really bright beautiful uh, loom there of course to be expected from a Seiko with their patented loom of right looks really great I'm loving that um, kind of loomed section on that bezel insert really beautifully done let's go ahead and move into some low light transition here as you guys can see now you can get a better look at that bezel I'm not sorry bezel I keep calling it that the shroud and the finishing there the satinized brush on it the way the light plays on it, you get a little look at also that bracelet. Super articulated there, can be just kind of crunched up and bunched up, uh, so you know. And then of course with that great taper, which is a nice advantage over the stock bracelet because this tapers down to 18 millimeters versus 20. So it's going to be a lot more wearable. You can wear it a little bit looser, lower on the wrist. You can flex your wrist and it's you don't have to worry about anything hitting, catching or applying pressure where you don't want it. So really really nice and then you guys can see this that loom stays and just pumps and pumps and pumps <laughs> so really really awesome from that standpoint um, so really quick you know obviously this isn't a full review um, although we went through kind of every little uh, part of the segment um, you know on the wrist uh, with these added bonuses, I think it mentally definitely helps it feel like a more expensive watch and nudges it in that direction to where it feels more like the more expensive kind of Marine Master Tunas of the days of old. Um, and then the nice thing is, of course, you, you're still getting everything, the Seiko quality and whatnot, the design aesthetic. This isn't an homage. This is a very affordable watch. It's kind of like when you, you know, maybe you liked the Rolex Submariner, then you get a Tudor Sub uh, back when they offered Tudor Submariners. Um, now I guess you could get a Black Bay or a Pelagos, right? Um, from here, you're you know you're ordering from the same brand essentially that makes the watch that you love. So maybe you you're in love with like Darth Tuna or the Golden Tuna or you know a big Spring Drive Tuna, um, and you can't afford it. Here you can actually get one for relatively affordable there around 350, and then you can add a metal shroud to it. You can put it on you know similar rubber strap, if not the exact rubber strap and it's basically going to feel great and you don't have to worry about switching out a battery which to me is, is a nice plus over the standard quartz tuna um, of course this isn't going to be I wouldn't say it's comparable to like the spring drive tunas but also it's not comparable in size or mass uh, which is great and the weight as well so really excited about this piece it wears super well it's a very very simple mod if i'm sure anybody who's ever owned a tuna switched out bracelets before switched out straps so anybody can do that and then there's really simple really three screws you remove for the shroud um, there's a little bit of light um, like white Loctite um, on there, uh, which was easy to break through and then easy to, to screw back down. Um, it wasn't too gritty or anything like that. So really simple. I think anybody could do this at home. Let me know what you guys think of the mod. If you like the video, please do a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks, guys.